I just think that the purpose is to elevate the mind. Hey, it's Zana. So what is our purpose? Why are we here? Why are we on a planet in the middle of a solar system? Like, what did we actually come here to do? And I definitely think that with the way the world is right now, and obviously we have to earn money, like we need money to survive, we need to be able to have food and a shelter and everything like that. So with the focus of a lot of people, being on the survival and needing to get money and then even to the other end of the spectrum of the extent of like wanting to have an abundance of money and have as much money as possible to be able to do all of these things like the focus is kind of shifted to feel like money is the purpose or material possession is the purpose and that really isn't why we're here those are extra like bonuses those are almost like a not residue, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like the result of your purpose. Like when you live your purpose, then you get those things anyway, because those things are not separate from you, they're a part of you, you know, like the money is an energy, so it is a part of you and it comes from you and it starts in your mind. So those things are like an extension of yourself, they're an extra thing, a physical manifestation of your abundance. But your actual purpose, I really feel, is just to be yourself, but your authentic self, but your true self, not the self that other people tell you to be, not the self that you convince yourself you need to be, but actually who you are. Because if you think about it, your natural frequency, all of our natural frequency, is love. But oftentimes we're not acting out of love. Oftentimes we're getting into arguments, like we're yelling at people, we can be disrespectful. We even can be disrespectful and argue with ourselves, you know, like we beat ourselves up all the time. So that's not acting on God, God frequency. That's not being love. That's not coming from a place of love. So I definitely believe that our purpose is to get back to that. And even if you scrap all of the external programming that instills the fear which then keeps us in a lower frequency even when you scrap all of that we're still in a human experience you know so you're still going to be restricted by the ego mind you're still going to be restricted by the five senses because this is a human experience so it's not to say that like if you get rid of the programming everything will be perfect because obviously it wouldn't be but that definitely doesn't help so that's like an extra part of the journey that we then have to shed and that kind of um, keeps you distracted and like not focusing on yourself, you know? It keeps you focusing on money as if money is an external thing and material things as if the way to get them is an external thing. But everything starts within the mind because the mind is all the universe is mental. So everything starts within the mind. So I just think that the purpose is to elevate the mind you know, to get back to our God self, to get back to a higher level of perspective, to then be able to carry yourself and like act out those things. Because you literally are the embodiment of God, of love, of source, of the universe, just inside a vessel. That is what you are. So your purpose is not to be anything else. It's nothing outside of you. It's inside. It's, it's who you are. It literally is you. Same as your higher self, same as your past, same as everything, to be honest, it all is you, it's who you are, it's inside of you. So when you're trying to find your purpose, there's nothing that you actually need to do because it's not external. There's no one that you need to speak to, there's no video that you even really need to watch apart from maybe to remind you that it's inside of you. So now it's about actually tapping into that, you know? And you can't tap into that through anybody else. You have to literally sit by yourself and hear your heart and feel what you like, what you want, why you came here to, what What did you come here to experience? What do you want to experience, you know? And there's no right or wrong answer. Whatever comes up, you may want to experience all of these amazing things and travel to different countries and build all of these connections and like for me it's obviously music and art and making these videos that's a part of the purpose but below that like when you scratch that back peel those layers back 
my ultimate purpose is to elevate my own mind because that allows me to then make these videos that are at a higher perspective. It allows me to go into deeper topics, you know, because I have the more of an understanding of them myself. So I still have to do the work myself. And even with music, I still have to do that internal work first because then it means that the subjects that I can talk about, the experiences that I have that I can then share will be way more substantial, way more is substantial the right word? They'll have way more substance to them, you know? I can go into deeper topics because I've experienced it and the experience is in my mind. Not necessarily the physical experience, but like the shift of perspective. That's the experience. It's And it's a conscious effort, you know? It's a conscious effort of noticing your thoughts and then shifting them to where you want to go. And I really feel like that is the purpose because that allows you to have a better experience here you know but of course that is like a lifelong process but I feel like when you actually think about purpose like maybe the reason why you're watching this video is because you're thinking of career and that's not your purpose that's just an extension of you that's like your self-expression because it's something that you like it's something that you want to do it's something that you enjoy spending time doing but it's still coming from you so whether it's a business that you want to create whether it's a job that you want to actually get like something that you're going to interview for no matter what it is it's something that you're passionate about or at least doing picking something that you're passionate about would be more beneficial to you than choosing something that you absolutely hate but a career like in my opinion is something that's an extension of you it's a way of expressing your creativity it's a way of like almost letting off steam it's something that you love and something that you can spend your time doing but the internal work comes first it comes before that it comes before my music it comes before these videos it comes before I even go and meet anybody whether that's family whether that's friends no matter what it is the internal work my internal state of mind and my emotions come first and it has to come first and that is self-love like it has to come first because that then determines how you interact with other people that determines what career you choose that determines your confidence level you know it determines everything so the internal work of elevating your mind of hearing and feeling who you are and hearing your thoughts and embracing all aspects and then elevating certain parts of yourself that you want to that for me is the purpose and not any of this other stuff. All this other stuff is just distraction. All of this other stuff is just human stuff, you know? But we're not humans. We're in a human experience, but that doesn't mean that we have to fall right the way down to just being human and forget about our true divinity and our true essence. Like, then that keeps you stuck in the fear. Then that makes you forget how powerful you are and, and it makes you feel like you lack money because you're stuck in the human perspective and you're forgetting that, oh my God, this is just one lifetime. Like I'm a powerful energy, I'm, a, I'm electricity, like I'm, a, I'm running on a frequency and this is how I can take control of the amount of abundance that comes into my life, you know? And there's no reason to lack because you literally are God, you are love. Therefore, your money and your abundance and your prosperity is infinite. But you have to believe that and you have to know that and you have to understand that in order for it to happen. You know, it's a percep blah, blah, perspective shift, perception shift. I can't even get these words out. This is Mercury retrograde, okay, guys? I can't get my words out. <laughs> but, yeah, so the internal work for me is the purpose. And that literally just means being yourself, being who you are, flaws and all, imperfections and all, at whatever level you're at. Like, there are no levels, really. We all are God. We all are God frequency, we all are love, we all are the same, you know? So, yeah, just being who you are and fuck all the rest, <laughs> to be honest. That is your purpose. And the more that you get to know yourself, the more that you will elevate that anyway. So, there's no, like, it's not to say that you need to get to perfection before you can then be who you are. No, you be who you are and you uncover everything that you are as you go. You learn as you go, you grow as you go and you shed all of the fear and all of the programming as you go. Trial and error. So I'm really talking with my hands today. I don't know. 
how this is happening. <laughs> I'm such a hand talker. But anyway, so yes, the purpose is you, it is yourself, it's who you are. That's literally it. And once you uncover who you are and you get to know yourself and you learn all of these different things, you'll realise instantly what you like because you'll be drawn to it. You'll want to do it and it will just happen naturally. So I feel like as with everything, you just have to shed the fear, shed the like stressing and worrying and panicking and actually just sit with yourself and get to know who you are. And then your passion, it's more of a passion rather than a purpose, but it can be intertwined with your purpose those things will come to you you'll naturally be drawn to them just like when you were a child and there were certain things that you wanted to do certain things that you found fun certain things that you loved it's like that it just comes up you feel it you feel inspired and you want to go do it so it's not something that you need to find because that's kind of making you feel like you're lacking something and you're not lacking something it's already there in your heart and in your mind you just need to be open to it which means letting go of the stress and the doubt and the worry and the fear so it really is like deprogramming the mind of all of the crap that's been piled on it all of the thoughts that aren't yours and then reprogramming it with everything that you love everything that you want everything that you are and that is your purpose that literally is the purpose of being here is that elevation the journey of elevation is the purpose so thank you so much for watching leave any comments down below if you want to carry on the conversation and if you have any video ideas that you want me to talk about and thank you so so much for watching because i really do appreciate it and i will see you in the next video bye I need a man that will hold me down If he a yes man, I ain't keeping him around I need a